This is the way I was taught to do it using 11 pins. Now the pins I'm going to use are gimp pins. Strange name I know, but I bought these from Thorns. That's the actual size of them. This is the top bar. And you will notice that they very kindly put a groove in two places. And that's for us to cut out and that piece of wood later on will be used to pin foundation to the frame. So with craft knife in hand and always do it on cutting away from yourself, don't do it onto your knee because it does hurt. I've tried it. Gently Run your blade down. And that should just come apart. You will see there's a little bit of residue of the timber left on there. Just peel that off. So now we have this indentation. That is where the foundation is going to sit up against. And that piece of wood we've just cut out will pin up against it to hold it firm in place. So, let's start. So we've got our top piece. We've got two sides. Now, I've seen it done where somebody's gone, oh, put that together and this groove is on the outside. That's a no-no. The groove is there for the foundation to sit in. So it needs to be facing inwards. So I put it in like that. And I give it a good old tap. So there we are. Smooth side facing out. The groove is running on the inside. Because this is where your foundation is going to sit. And sit in there. So we'll do the other side, remembering groove on the inside. So we have one top bar, two sides. Now you'll notice you have two little cutouts on both sides and at the base of your frame you will get two pieces of timber now what happens is you pop one of them into there and you tap it down again you oh that fitted in nicely yeah, that just slots in that one we're going to have to tap in What you want to do is get this side flush and that side flush. Now that one isn't so flush, so I'm just going to pop it on the bench and a quick. So now what I need to do is have a look and see if it's nice and square. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm now I'm ready to pin it. Different ways of pinning frames. I've seen over the internet people use six frame, uh, six pins, sorry, eight pins. Greg and Graham will teach you how to use 11 pins, which I've always used 11 pins, nice and strong. So, where that slots into the side, you will notice, as I said, this groove. So the pin needs to go towards the edge on the thicker side of the wood. You do not want it to come through that top piece and into that groove because then it will obstruct the foundation. So what I'm going to do is put a pin in. I want it to go into the thick part of the wood. So angle it slightly. Well, the camera will pick up on that. 
So that is going to go into the thick side. And same with the other side. Remember, I want to get it to go into the thick side of the wood. So a little bit of an angle and in we go. So now when you have a look, if you look in the groove, the pin is not coming through at all. Right, that's the top piece in. Now we get to nailing the sides to the top bar. As I mentioned before, this one is angled. So we want the nail to go in at an angle so that the head sits flush. So what I'm going to do is start the nail off at an angle. And so that you can see it, I don't know if the camera can pick it up on that. It's set for that angle. So we'll tap that in. Now this side, it's square. So I'm going to send the nail down square. So there we have. Flush. Flush. Now we need to do that the other side. So remember, where the angle is, your nail goes in angle, so the head's flush. And on the square side. pliers useful and I've done this before when you're na na nailing in and it bends you can either twist it straight pull it out start again so we have one two three four five six six nails we have a nice square frame and now we're ready to put the foundation in so one sheet of foundation. Now Graham and Greg mentioned, and I think showed you a piece of foundation, but you'll notice that there is a wire running through it. This is to give the foundation support. It smells lovely. I love doing this job. Now, these pieces of wire at one end are long, at the other end are short. Now we're working with the long-ended one. What you want to do is bend them over so they're about 90 degree. And the reason for that is when I put it into the frame they are going to sit flush on the bottom of there. So, to put a sheet in, two ways of putting it in. You can slide it through the top, like so. That one went in very easily. You will get some that will stick at the sides. So the way I do it, Everybody has a preference, as I put that side in first. I then put my one finger in there. Holding it out from the frame, I then push the other side in, slotting the foundation into the groove. Of course, my way takes just took longer. <laughs> right, so, foundation is sitting in the frame. The bent pieces now are sitting flush 
on the wood. Now remember that piece of wood that we cut out right at the beginning. This is now going to be returned to it and this is going to sit down on top of them and pinch them into place. So pop it in, push it down and you just see them protruding. So we get that in nice into place and then we get a pin. Now if I was to pin it straight through it would be protruding out of the top of the bar and I'll catch my fingers on it. Not good. What we've got to do is to send that pin in at an angle. And what I do is I get it right on the edge of the wood. Now I want to make sure that that pin goes down between the gap where it comes through there and up there so that it's pinning the whole thing in. So I'll start this off and show you. Yeah? See the angle? Hopefully that won't come out the other side. Tap it all the way in. Hasn't come through. But it's pinned it. It's squashing down and anchoring that piece of wire. Now we've got two more to do, so I'll quickly do those. Remember, in at an angle, right on the edge if you can. It also makes it easier that if you're taking foundation out, say it was old, you can get hold of the heads of the pin and pull it out. Right, so there we are. Three pins along the edge holding that in place. So now it only leaves the other top bar to put in place. So I pop that cut out into there. Sometimes they're a little tight. Persuade it in. Make sure that you push the foundation between the two pieces of wood so it pins it in place. Push it and there we go. That one went in easy. Now you'll notice it coming through there. All you need to do. Then we're going to pin. Remember to send it in so that it goes into the thick part of the wood. the other side and there we have one DN4 frame with foundation ready to go note one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 